hello everyone welcome back to my channel technology and in this tutorial i will show you guys how to install DeepSeek locally on your windows computer and isolating it using docker and also i will show you guys how to set up open OAVY for a smoother user experience so you just need to follow me so at first you need to open your browser and search for olama next you need to go to olama.com official website and click on download then download for windows after download install it on your windows computer next you need to open cmd then type olama space minus minus version after that press enter and you can see your olama version next we need to download dipsic model simply go to olama.com and click on models and you will see the models called DeepSeek R1. If you are unable to find, then click on search and then type DeepSeek. Now click on DeepSeek R1. Now here you will see multiple models like 7B and 8B, which is referred to models with 7 billion and 8 billion parameters. This models balance efficiency and accuracy for local AI applications. Lower parameter models provide less detailed information, while the higher ones offer better accuracy and results. Now select the model as per your choice. I will select here 7B and then copy the code from beside. Then you need to run the command on your CMD, simply right click. After installation done, as you can see, it is running on my computer smoothly. Now I will show how to open Olama in CMD. Now type Olama list to display available models. Find and copy the model name from the list. To run the model, you have to type olama space run space model name. And now I will disable my internet connection to check whether olama dipsic is working offline locally or not. And as you can see, it is working perfectly. But running DeepSeek in CMD doesn't look the way I want. It's a little bit boring, you know. So what I'll do is I will download Docker. Docker is a tool that make it easier to run applications in a clean, isolated environment. Simply go to docker.com and after that click on download Docker desktop and then click on download to Windows. Once it will download, you just need to install it on your computer. After installation done, you need to click on close and restart. After restart your PC, it will pop up one CMD screen with WSL. You need to press enter to install WSL on your Windows 11. After installation done, you need to double click on Docker desktop. Click on accept, then check the option called use recommended settings and click on finish. Now you need to click on personal and click on create an account. Then you need to create one account on Docker with your email ID, which I have already created. So I'll directly log in from that account. After login, click on finish. And after that, you need to wait to start the Docker engine. Now you need to download OpenWebUI. OpenWebUI is a browser-based interface for controlling software or AI models, making tasks easier without using command line. For that, you need to open CMD on your computer and then open your browser. Go to OpenWebUI website and copy the first link if Olama is on your computer. Then you need to paste the command on your CMD and press enter. Now 
After installation done, minimize the CMD and go to Docker Desktop. Click on Containers. Now click on the link Web UI and it will open on your browser. Click on Get Started. Then you have to create one account. Now you need to select the model and after that you are good to go. So before ending this video, I would like to share few quick things with you. I create high quality tech related videos every day. So if you enjoy my content and want to support my work, please don't forget to subscribe my channel. Also make sure check out my other videos for more helpful content. So I will see you guys on the next one next video. Till then bye bye take care.